Hey guys, uh, one thing that I've been wondering for a few years now is how to make a section perspective render. I've been asked how to do that and I've asked people how to do it and I've never been able to figure it out until now. Now I'm going to share that information with you. Um, basically, what we're going to do is take our model and we're going to transform it from this um, elevation perspective where you can see the walls and all the windows to this section perspective where it retains the same natural um, accurate lighting conditions as if the rest of the building were still there. So you can see my section cut in the green. And the thing that makes this a good uh, technique is that uh, section perspectives are good because it shows the depth of a space and if you do it rendered then it also shows the accurate lighting of the space. Now if you were to just cut your building in half and try to render it that way then everywhere that you cut just leave a big opening and all of your natural uh, sunlight or global illumination would spill into your space and it would be inaccurate. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is create um, or is we're going to ungroup all of the objects within our, our uh, model. And that's because we're going to use a Boolean split operation, and that does not split grouped objects. So just ungroup a few times until everything's good. And we're going to create a uh, planar surface, and then move it to where we want to make our section cut. We're just going to bring it just a little bit beyond the um, front of our building here. And then what you want to do is select your geometry, select your bottle, and go to the boolean operation flyout and boolean split then you need to select the cutting plane which is going to be the, the uh, planar surface that we made if you cut through windows then you need to make sure that um, you do the same split command actually not boolean split just a two dimensional split command and select your window separately because boolean split will not spl uh, split two dimensional surfaces so I already have the section material, but I'm going to delete it and remake it so that it's easier to follow. All you need to do is make a standard material, and I'm going to rename that section. You need the uh, default diffuse layer, and you also need to add a refraction layer. For the diffuse settings, you want to make sure the color is completely black and that the transparency is completely white so that it's completely transparent. For refraction, if you go ahead and preview it, it looks like you're basically looking through uh, a solid ball, uh, a glass ball, and that's because of the IOR, or the index of refraction. You want to make sure that um, that's at one. Different uh, objects like plastic and glass and crystal and uh, other things like that have different index of refraction which is basically how light is distorted as it passes through the material. Um, so go ahead and change that to one and preview it again and it's completely flat and you can't even tell that the material is there. So what we're going to do is select our our section objects and apply this new material to it. Because we have windows and we're trying to show the light um, we've just applied that new material to that those windows and it's basically going to uh, make these a solid wall so you won't get any lighting in there you can't just simply change it back to the window material either because if you do that then when you render it you'll have a uh, basically a reflective window floating in front of your section perspective so we're just going to completely delete those and that will uh, leave the the window mullions and all the framing and all the walls there and also let the light pass through the openings. <clears throat> so next thing we need to do is set up our view. We're going to go to the uh, viewport tab and go to set view. In this case it's right. When you do that it's going to put it in parallel projection and so we're going to go back to the viewport properties and change it from parallel to perspective and because we're trying to show the depth of the space, we're going to change the lens length to about 20 millimeters. And then we can go ahead and find a suitable uh, zoom 
So you can use the edges of where your uh, model is to help you guide how far you can zoom in. You can go ahead and zoom in beyond the, the section material because that won't be visible anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and render this and pause it while it's rendering and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I completely messed up um, and this is what I was talking about uh, with just cutting your building in half. It's letting all this crazy light in. Um, so I'm going to save this because lately it's been trying to crash on me. Um, and basically we'll do it before and after. So the thing, the setting that I forgot to uh, change is in your section material you have effect shadows and effect alpha. Turn both of those off. Affecting alpha should make it so that um, when you save it as a PNG or when you save it as a TIFF or something with layers that it won't count this, ma this section material as part of your alpha so cutting it out of the background should be easier not that there's a background but in case you have one and effect shadows um, to me it seems like you need to keep that on but it's actually the opposite so we're gonna go ahead and re-render that and uh, I'm gonna pause it and I will unpause it again when it's finished Okay, so I've gone back and I've changed those settings uh, and I've re-rendered and it looks a lot better now. Uh, so to give you kind of like a comparison, I'll show you exactly what the difference is. So as you can see, this is the, um, the section where um, all the light is spilling in from where I made cuts and as I slide this little bar over you'll see how um, it's more realistic when you actually create the section cut and it looks just a lot better I mean when you have like shadows like this dropping down they're just kinda ambiguous and when you have something more realistic it's just a lot more convincing and uh, and the, the digital craft is just a, a, a lot better um, there's one more thing that I'm going to do. It's completely optional. That's basically the whole tutorial. But to show you how much further you can take it, we're going to take another section cut and put it somewhere over here. And this time we are cutting through windows. So what we're going to do is do the uh, select our objects again. Actually, all you need to select is your main building. You don't need to fully and split the other objects again. And then select your cutting plane. And then you need to make sure that you select your window surfaces and split those as well. Split cutting surface and then delete the leftover portions. So now you have your new section cut. I think I cut right along the, the lights too. Interesting. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and apply that same material to it. I'm going to group that as well. So now we have like this corner corner section. Now if we had windows on this side of the building, it would look pretty interesting, but we don't, so it's not going to be that cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and render that again, and hopefully it'll look just as cool. So I'm going to pause it, and I'll come back again. So now you can see that I made the section cut along this wall and this wall. Um, the lighting looks pretty good. It shows how it spills in. Uh, I'll try and save this and then we can flip back and forth. So you can see how the light comes past this wall. 
and onto this wall, and it's the same here, past the wall, onto the wall. So it really lets you see into um, basically all corners of your building or your object. Uh, it's really useful, uh, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Good luck.